What's up guys, welcome back to Halfman of Tech. My name is Ben, your host, and I've been living life on a beta for about five days now when it comes to Mac OS 12 developer beta 8. And this is my follow up video where I cover some of the new features that I managed to find as well as the existing bugs and a possible release date when it comes to Mac OS. So first things first, I want to show you some other updates that came out since the developer beta came out of Mac OS 12. So you can see here that Mac OS Catalina Security Update Developer Beta 2021-007 was released and also the corresponding public beta for this Catalina update was also released. And also a few days ago, we got iOS 15.0.1 as well as iPad. Pad OS 15.0.1 these were released to the public so if you have supported devices these are updates that you can always check out now when it comes to some of the new changes that I managed to find when it comes to Mac OS 12 beta 8 you can see that when you access your quick note right here in the right bottom section of your screen like this you can see that quick note has basically been given like the actual name quick note and it has some sort of logo so this pop-up screen has been updated you can see that it actually looks like something that actually has a name before it was something that was just blank on the previous betas but now with Mac OS 12 beta 8 I'm just noticing now that quick note has actually been updated so before this is how it used to look and you can see that it was just plain and simple but now it has actually been updated to depict the quick note now also the second change that i managed to find with mac os 12 has to do with safari so if you go to safari the about this version you can see that the version has been updated and it's not just a minor build update it's actually a whole point update and you can see that we now have safari 15.1 and 17.612.2.6.11 instead of Safari version 15.0. So that is quite a big and major update. And those two are like the main changes that I managed to find after my um, initial video that I did. You can always check out and see some other changes. When it comes to universal control, however, I would like to let you know that Mac OS 12 beta 8 doesn't mention anything when it comes to universal control, which is sort of unfortunate. I believe at this time with how late we are when it comes to Mac OS 12 betas, universal control is going to be one of those things that you get later on. So when Mac OS 12 officially comes out, it won't have the universal control function and that universal control is going to be added with a point update. It's more like what we saw with iOS 15, how like you screen sharing on FaceTime wasn't like supported until iOS 15.0.1. So somewhere along those lines, that's where, oh, that's what I expect universal control to be. It seems like it's too late to actually try and start start beta testing it or including it in the beta for the official release since I'm also going to be talking about the official release of this update. So those are the changes when it comes to some of the bugs or issues that I've been experiencing. So the first one that I would like to mention that actually showed up a number of time has to do with like your cursor. So you see how I clicked on desktop and screen saver, right? When I click like here where it says full screen and this was happening like in Anyway, I could click there and what would happen is my cursor would sort of teleport and the click wouldn't register so I would click here and then my cursor pops up like on the side of the screen and then I click there to pop up here so to pop up in random places and that is a bug that is ongoing it's very hard to recreate because you don't know when it's going to actually show up but that is something that you know has been happening to me a number of times it's almost as if you know it's a Dragon Ball Z Goku trying to teleport so that he avoids being hit so that is one bug that you can always look out for and the second bug that I noticed has to do with um, uh, your night shift so if you go to display and enable night shift right and you connect your external monitor let me try and connect one to see how it behaves here so 
my external monitor isn't actually registering so this is something that i've been experiencing but you can see how my night shift sort of you know switches on and off it's like jumping it doesn't know it's like stuck between night and day and then all of a sudden it returns to night shift mode so it's not stable there and the second bug that i am um, experiencing you just saw that my external monitor isn't actually displaying so that is also a serious bug that i've been experiencing and a number of users have been mentioning that when it comes to like the display they have some lg 4k monitors that aren't showing but the one that i'm using is actually an hp 27 er monitor and you can see that i can't find it and you know it's not even showing anywhere and you can see the wallpaper that we have here when it comes to mac os pixel that it actually still shows a mac os pixel wallpaper instead of mac os monterey so that is still an issue at this time and then when it comes to some issues or bugs that were resolved previously on my mac os 12 beta 7 follow-up i was experiencing a number of blackout bugs so i'll be happy to let you know that on beta 8 i've not yet experienced like a serious blackout bug like what you were seeing here on beta 7 so that is good and also when it comes to facetime it's no longer like showing a black screen when you open up facetime so that is also a bug that has been resolved and iMovie timeline is showing unlike what it was on beta 7 that has been resolved and also when it comes to final cut pro it's actually working although it's not as good as it's supposed to or as fast but it's no longer freezing like you were seeing here on beta 7 so most of these issues have been resolved and i would like to take this time to thank you for reporting some of these issues and the issues that you're experiencing on mac os uh, 12 beta 7 as well as mac os 12 beta 8 it goes a long way in helping apple resolve these issues faster now when it comes to how what's going on for people i did post about mac os 12 beta 8 so i basically asked people how it's working for them and you can see that at the time i'm recording this video we have about 131 votes and thank you so much for taking part and you can see that um, like 43% of the people said I'm on Mac OS 11 or older. 27% said uh, it's great and 11% said that it's uh, okay but some issues. 5% it's terrible and 15% use Windows. If you try and see some of the comments we have here, it's just two and you can see that Christian here said surprisingly after watching your video it works absolutely great for me no problem at all i guess he voted this first option i'm actually surprised by the 27 percent because it's quite a large number for me i wouldn't really say great i would possibly say that it's terrible at this time it's still up and down it's not yet stable and you can see my so they say mac os 11.5.2 has been great for me on my macbook Air mid 2017 13 inch without any issues so thank you so much for taking part in this youtube community poll and now let's actually talk about performance when it comes to mac os 12 beta 8 and we'll be comparing it with beta 7 so you can see that i ran geekbench here this is geekbench 5 and on mac os 12 beta 8 when it comes to single core you can see that i got a score of 621 and when it comes to multi-core i got a score of 2671 now previously on beta 7 for single core i had a score of 647 and on multi-core i had a score of 2888 so you can see that performance wise at least for me on my 2016 15 inch mbp it's, it's a little bit lower than what i had on beta 7 when it comes to gpu you can see here on beta 8 that i got a score of 15675 and previously on beta 7 i had a score of 17633 again not great but it's better to have something that's a little bit slower and more stable but if you have an m1 mark you probably see uh, higher numbers because this is an, an old intel mark so those are the performance scores battery wise i haven't really seen like a deep gradual uh reduction when it comes to the battery wise coming from beta 7 to beta 8 it's more or less the same you can see my battery usage here in the last 
10 days and it's been you know more or less average when it comes to like you know i've been getting like about six hours there so you can see the corresponding energy usage today i got about you know four hours to about four and a half hours and i was basically using a lot of zoom calls today because sundays i mean on weekends i i am super busy so let me see if i can show you the screen on time here just to see uh, the app usage just so you can see zoom i was on zoom for about two and a half hours i'm not sure why it does it didn't register the two and a half hours but you can see that i was heavily you know doing videos watching videos on safari and also on video calls on zoom as well as you know imaging edge controlling my camera but those are some of my screen on time and you can see that it's not normal usage it's heavy usage and that was are my screen on time battery wise i wouldn't say it has degraded greatly now when it comes to the official release this is the part that i'm very excited to share with you so as you can see today is actually um sunday october the third and you can see the time here it's about uh, 21 57 so there's actually some information floating around although it's not yet confirmed by apple that we are going to have an apple event on October 12th so it's going to be an Apple M1X or M2 Mac event if that tends to be soon then the invites are expected to be sent out on the 5th of October also during this week of the 5th if the invites are sent out we expect to see the next beta which is beta 9 and then if the event does take place on the 12th of October we'll see the release candidate soon after the event and then the official version of Mac OS 12 will come out on the 18th of October but this depends on heavily on what's going to take place on tuesday the 5th if that does happen then the official version is expected to come on the 18th of october that's the same as what happened with uh, ios 15 so the september if apple event took place on 14th and the week before that apple sent out the invites and we got like ios 15 beta 9 and when the event took place we actually got like the release candidate of ios 15 and then the following week on monday we started to get ios 15 the official version being released so i do expect if it is true and we get the invite on october 5th i expect mac os 12 monterey to officially be out on the 18th of october now other than that guys that's about it for me and my uh, experience with mac os 12 beta 8 let me know what you think about this video if it's also your first time watching half men half tech here at half men half tech we do cover a lot of apple content when it comes to mac os ios software updates as as well as performance and tips and tricks and so on so if you haven't subscribed a sub would be great now stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video peace